Now this is the uh, Lionel Vision Line freight boxcar. Uh, it was in the, I believe, catalog, the big book, uh, first catalog of 2021. And um, uh, I chose this one, uh, Baltimore, Ohio, because I was born and raised in Cleveland, lived in Toledo, so the B&O is kind of near and dear to my heart. Um, and, and final analysis, <laughs> I really uh, liked the design. This has a number of features which are really cool. First, it has a uh, electrocoupler, and uh, although the the doors do uh, open, it, all they do is reveal the, uh, as you can see, just the electronics for the box car. It has uh, uh, freight sounds uh, and train sounds as the car moves. And it, and it also reacts to the train brake, um, and the dialogue is really cool. And it has three uh, sequences that you can go through as you run the car around the uh, around the layout. But as a tour, um, it's got some interesting detail, as you can see here. And as I said, I, I love the color scheme. That blue and, and orange is really kind of a really really neat combination. Uh, I love the logo for the less than car load freight and also the lettering is really crisp and clear um, in terms of function on the back side uh, here's where all the the goodies are let me see if I can uh, clear them up there okay you can see that little white back there that's the master volume it also has a program run switch and a minimum and maximum switch, and I'll explain uh, what those do. Now, a couple of quick notes. One, in order to really take full advantage of uh, the Legacy 2 and the boxcar sounds and capabilities, um, you program each uh, element, the engine and the boxcar, with unique IDs, and then uh, create a lash-up with those two. And also, um, what you can see here is uh, the listing uh, from the manual of the various sounds available. Uh, and I included a picture of the controller because one of the unique things is the uh, flat wheel sound. Um, you have to actually hit a button to, to activate it. And you see I have also highlighted uh, some other uh, unique uh, buttons and functions uh, associated with the boxcar and the controller. So the next thing I'll do is uh, put it on the layout, hook it up to a, an engine, move it a little bit, and you can hear the sounds, and I'll go through a couple of the uh, loading and unloading sequences. Start unloading from the left. Let's sweep off those ramps, too. That's how it's done. Okay, let's try to stay organized. Give me some more water. The dust is killing me. train brake and you'll see the rail sound still coming. Okay, just a quick demonstration. Um, I had mentioned earlier that there was a min and max 
switch on the bottom of the uh, freight car and so by switching it to minimum you can put more than one sound car in a consist and have one that uh, is activated for loading and unloading sounds and the other just gives you rail sounds. So let me demonstrate. So you can see with the loading sequence it was uh, really shortened and here's the unloading sequence. Well, I'll release the train brake and you'll see the rail sound still can 